Hi folks, today we're going to go over the uh, basic operation introduction uh, for Baofeng UV5R. Uh, this right here is UV5R+. Plus. Um, the only difference between the regular UV5R and this one is, is cosmetic. It just has like this um, metal uh, front plate here, whereas the other Baofeng, just regular UV5R, just has uh, plastic here instead of the metal chrome. Uh, the 5R Plus also comes in different colors, so when you see Plus, uh, there's a few other models that are just cosmetic changes only. That's all they are. Um, this, I also have an F8 HP, and um, everything we're going to go over in this video today basically applies to that as well. So let's start at the top. The volume knob right here is how you turn on and off the radio. Okay. Turn on the radio. There you go. It comes up. Right now it's in um, memory mode. Um, and uh, we'll go over kind of how to change that. It's right here on this button. Okay, uh, up top, we still we have the flashlight. Okay, and um, that should I have to turn that on in a second and the antenna. Okay, uh, on the side here, we have the uh, microphone and speaker ports, which are also your programming ports. And um, on the left side, we have the call button and the money button. Okay, so the money button, like I said about the flashlight, if you push uh, the money button uh, once for a short press, it'll turn on the flashlight. If you push it once again, it'll do SOS. Okay, turn it once again to turn it off. Okay, long press of the money button will uh, will actually um, give you the monitor. So it'll bring the squelch down to zero. So I hold it down, so I let it go. So that way. Uh, if your squelch is too high or you, someone's really deep in the, in, the, uh, in the static and the noise floor, you can, might be able to pull them out by holding that down and listening. Um, looking up top here, this orange button is the call button. Uh, for a short press, it'll bring you to the FM radio. Short press to turn it off again. Uh, so you can't access, you cannot access the FM radio from VFO mode. Uh, and instantly VFO uh, stands for variable frequency oscillator. Uh, this button just toggles between VFO and memory. So here's all the memory channels that I've programmed in. Okay. And, uh, and then here are just your regular frequencies. You can step up and down the frequencies. Okay. Uh, and then of course the, uh, oh, and on the call button again, if you uh, long press the call, button, it will give you an alarm. Now that alarm can be uh, configured by option 32 on the Baofeng, and it can either sound locally, just like you've heard it there, and it's controllable by the volume knob, so you can hear the, the siren sound there, or it can either transmit a tone or uh, a PL tone or a DTMF tone uh, on whatever frequency you're on. So you wanna make sure that that is uh, set correctly. Like I said, I believe it's option 32. So if I go to menu and do three, two, see AL mod, the alarm mode site. So that means it'll just um, sound locally. If I go to change that tone and code. So that's for the PL tone and the DTMF code, um, but we don't wanna change that. So we'll leave it as is. Okay. so. Went over the call button, which gives you the FM radio or the alarm for long press, went over the money button, went over the push attack button. Looking on the front again, as I said, VFO uh, or memory toggle. So right now we're in VFO mode. If I push it again, we go to memory mode. Um, that's pretty straightforward. One of the neat things about the Baofeng, it has this dual watch feature. So you can actually listen to two different um, frequencies at a time. Uh, this is a little bit configurable, but essentially uh, this button right here, the AB button, will switch between the top and bottom, um, um, either frequency or memory channel that you have programmed in. So now I'll be on the two meter call um, frequency, which is really just, uh, which is not a repeater at all. And you can notice up here that um, the repeater symbols for uh, offset and stuff like that have changed. If I go back, you can see here that the, um, the repeater uh, uh, offset uh, indication is there as well. So that'll give me an idea of how that works. Um, I believe I also have a, a narrow band um, frequency program in there too, and an N will come up over there. 
at any rate, um, that's the AV button. Uh, you also see this uh, LED illuminate whenever you transmit or whenever there is any, uh, or whenever the squelch is broken. So even, even when you push that money button, uh, this will illuminate. So like I said, if I have that volume all the way down, something's coming through, either someone's transmitting or I'm holding the squelch down here with my left finger. And you can see that that light is still lit. Um, so that's that LED. Microphone is right here, this little hole, and this whole thing is a speaker. This is the band button. So if you're over in VFO mode, if you want to switch from 2 meter VHF to uh, 70 centimeter UHF, you can push this band button. Uh, it's at 435, 360. So if you, if you want to just go directly there, you can type in the frequency and it'll take you right there. There's no need to use the band button. Um, but if you're kind of moving up and down the um, frequencies with this, these buttons here, your tuning buttons, um, you can hit band to move back and forth between uh, VHF and UHF. Incidentally, that's what these two buttons do. They're using the menu mode, uh, but they also, when you're in VFO mode or in, in memory mode, uh, they change your frequency or in memory mode, they'll change your memory channel. Um, exit doesn't do anything unless you're in the menu. And here's the menu like we showed you before. Uh, this is the alarm mode, option number 32. When you're in menu mode, you can use the number pad to select a menu. And what's nice about this is that these uh, little blue words or abbreviations give you an idea of where you can, can go in the memory mode. So for example, if I wanted to adjust the step size, I can go to menu and I go to um, zero one and that will bring me to the step. If I wanted to adjust my transmission power, I go to zero two and that brings me to transmission power. Okay. Uh, and then in order to change something in the menu, you hit the menu button again, once you're on that specific configuration or that option, and then you use your arrow keys to change it. Okay. And then menu again to confirm it. If you don't want to change it, you can just hit exit and it'll bring you back. Okay. You can see there, if I go to menu, go to low and I'll hit exit, it won't be changed. Okay. So those are those buttons. Um, <clears throat> all these buttons down here, again, all of the numbers uh, give you, like I said, give you the, um, the menu option. And then we have the two symbols over here. So if I go into menu and I want to change the squelch, even the squelch is zero. Um, there, zero, zero. <clears throat> it brings me to the squelch. Okay. And we can go over some of these options in another video. Um, but if I were to uh, hold down scan, I'm in VFO mode, it will start to scan. Should I start to scan? Yep, there it goes. Okay. So uh, that's what the scan button does. And it also stops scanning when you push it again. Um, down here is the lock. So it'll lock the keypad so nothing will change. You push buttons, okay, you can't change the frequency, and then hold it again to unlock. And you can notice that by the little lock icon up there. I'll show you that again. Lock icon, it's locked. So if you're pushing buttons and nothing's happening, that's why. Push the lock button again to unlock. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's about all there is. Clip on the back, uh, a few other things, a little hook on the strap, antenna comes off. So that's your basic overview. Um, I will probably post additional videos on how on, on the different options, different configurations, how to scan for PL tones, how to um, uh, how to program your repeaters, how to use chirp, things like that. But uh, I thought this would be pretty useful, um, and I uh, learn different things every day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to this radio and other Baofeng radios uh, in the description as well below. Uh, also, um, uh, any programming cables and things like that uh, that you might need for this. So uh, again, any comments, questions, let me know in the comments and check out the description for uh, links to anything uh, that you see in the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.